Now we are up to third normal form. And third normal form, remember, basically requires that there are no um, transitive dependencies. In other words, there are no dependencies on other attributes that are non-key. So essentially, um, you can't have an attribute that depends on another attribute that is not a key. Now that is a little bit harder to conceptualize than the more straightforward second normal form where all attributes must just depend on the key. It almost sounds a little bit redundant, so what I'm going to do is just kind of break it apart so you can see the difference. All of the original tables we had uh, for our second normal form video were actually in third, third normal form. So I'm going to have to alter them, uh, to break them actually, to show the difference. But that's okay. Um, I, I think that's a kind of good way to do it because you get to see it kind of actually get created the wrong way and then fixed. Let's start by looking at our original enrollment table from second normal form, which, by the way, is currently in third normal form as well. Remember with our um, functional dependencies, if we were to draw this out for functional dependencies, we would say that, um, remember the key here is the combination of the student ID and the course number, right? So our closure would be student ID and course number. And we would say that the grade is functionally dependent on these things, right? So we could create a functional dependency for our current enrollment table uh, that looks something like this, and, and this would be correct, right? And, and also in third normal form. Now imagine this would be kind of a, a bad choice for a database design, but imagine that we add another attribute here called points. And the intention of this um, is to include the actual number of points that the student achieved, and of course the grade is directly related to that, right? You have to receive over a certain grade point average to achieve an A and a B, etc., right? So the idea here is that um, the points, you could say that the grade is functionally dependent on the points, right? But to be fair, we could say that the grade is functionally dependent on the key, just like we did before, and we could also say that the points are functionally dependent on the key. So individually, these things achieve second normal form, correct? They both are dependent on the key. The student taking the course achieves some points, just as the student taking the course achieves some grade. Where it becomes tricky for third normal form is the fact that you could say that the grade is dependent on the amount of points that were earned, right? Because that's how we determine the letter grade is based on those points. So this is that transitive dependency that we were talking about. You could write it out something like this, where you have student ID and course number, because that is the key of the relation. And you could say that Grade is dependent, well, let's put points here. Points is dependent on that. Uh, but then you could say that grade is also dependent on points. And just as I mentioned before, you can still take this. I'm just going to mark it with key. Key means that. You could also say that, you know, grade is directly uh, dependent on that key. So this is still in second normal form, but it is not in third normal form. And that is what uh, we would want to fix. Now, in this case, um, you would fix this by creating yet another relation um, that related maybe point values to grades. And then the key with that would probably be the points, and you would return this uh, table to not have grade and just have points. And then another table down here would have points and grade and maybe some other attributes that went with it, right? So that's how uh, this situation uh, might be rectified. Now, again, this is kind of a, a crappy situation because the honest truth of it is uh, one of the kind of rules of a database um, that we'll talk about throughout the semester uh, as we go forward is that you don't want to store anything that you can compute. And that's kind of like one of the, the golden rules of, of what not to do. So you can compute this grade from the points at any given time, right? Storing it just offers, um, you know, possible update anomalies because if, if uh, 
you know, you change the grade one day, but the points aren't updated to reflect or vice versa, you know, that, that could lead to a problem. So ideally this situation wouldn't have happened anyway, but it was a good way to express um, the difference between second and third normal form um, pretty simply, but using the, the data that we had previously. Now, there's a little bit more to this because third normal form is honestly a little bit tricky. It's hard, honestly, to guarantee, especially from a purist kind of like stand, standpoint, that a database should always be in third normal form. Uh, let me give you an example that we can walk through. We have our student table here, and the student table, I've added a few more fields, right? I've added um, what we had before, student ID's name and marital status, but I've also added the address, right? Um, the street address, city, state, and country. Now, notice that I'm not saying here, this is just a primary address, I'm not saying here that um, address should stand alone as its own entity because there might be multiple addresses. Notice that there's no repeating rows here. Uh, you could make a case in a, in a completely valid one that if your software wants to correct, collect possibly more than one address, uh, you should have a separate address table and that would become its own entity. And then there'd be some way of relating that, um, that address to the students. But uh, that's not the case here. There's only one row per, per entity. Uh, so you could say that, you know, in this case, um, there is a functional dependency. The street address is, is dependent on the student. The city is dependent on the student. The state is dependent on the student. And the country is dependent on the student. That is all completely valid. Um, however, you could also say that the city is functionally dependent on the address and the state, well, is, is functionally dependent, and so is the country, right? You could say in either way, you could say the state's dependent on the country, etc. So there is a transitive functional dependency here. What if the student moved, um, you know, and they went out of the country? So they were no longer in the US, they went to, oh, I don't know, I go to Great Britain, who knows? So if that's the case, this stuff has to change as well, right? There's no way around that. So that is a transitive functional dependency. There is a dependency between the attributes that are not keys. Now, is this a bad design? Is it purely third normal form? Well, I guess not. It's, it's not purely third normal form. But you would be hard pressed to find someone who should, would say you need to break this out um, just to remain in normal form if there's never going to be another address uh, that's going to be used by the system, if there's only ever going to be one address, um, you're really just adding complexity to the system and for not really any return. Remember, when you're going to query this information, this isn't necessarily a bad design, and you want to get that address, you're going to have to do a join to get it, and it's, it's going to take more time, and it's going to take more code, and it's going to add complexity. And is it really necessary complexity, right? Some would argue no. And, and most times you will see a table like this laid out with the address uh, embedded in the user table or student table or whatever it is. Now, of course, this is, of course, with the caveat that, like I said before, if you think the system is going to collect more than one address, then we've gone back to a second normal form violation because I would have duplicate rows, right? For every address, I would have to have duplicate usernames and marital status and things like that. So that would be a definite violation. But as discussed here, um, you know, there's a little bit more of an art to it. So in summary, third normal form, remember, is those transitive dependencies. It's the idea that you can have attributes that are not key, so all of these attributes are not key, right? This is the key over here, that are dependent on each other. And if that is the case, then it is technically not in third normal form.